Good night, good night, everyone. Okay. I'm going live on YouTube for the first time, y'all, so excuse me while I figure this out. <laughs> so tonight is just a fun live where we talk about beauty. Hey, hey, so tonight we talk about beauty. I will admit that my YouTube camera, I mean, my IG camera is like five feet away from me. So if I can't see you guys' comments, that's why y'all know I wear glasses and I don't put in contacts with nails on. <laughs> so I'm excited to be here with you guys tonight and to share a part of my life that I don't usually share, but since I've been getting so many requests and I've actually had, let me actually move the YouTube camera back a little bit too so I can engage with everyone. I actually did a poll last week to see, you know, if this is something that y'all are interested in seeing from me and literally 100% of y'all said yes. So tonight we're going to talk about the black owned beauty brands that I have been purchasing from during this quarantine. I will say that coping with quarantine for me has been 100% retail therapy. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's it's been a retail therapy space in time for me and that's just my thing I, it might not be everyone's thing but shopping is something that i love to do i love to shop for my house i love to shop for my kids i love to shop for myself for my husband so one of the things that i've been doing lately is shopping more for myself saying yes to myself more and buying a lot of makeup <laughs> buying a whole lot of makeup and so i want to share what i've been buying lately i'm gonna share my nails first because they came today and i am loving them loving them so very much so a friend of mine recommended this nail brand these press-ons by glossy nails and first of all you guys know your makeup but thank you you guys know that my weekly nail appointments bi-weekly nail appointments were something that i never cheated on i don't cheat on my self-care i don't cheat on my maintenance i don't cheat on my dates with myself but i also don't cheat on my health and social distancing is a real thing for me right now so i basically got tired of looking regular by the hands which every now and then is cool but after a certain amount of weeks it's just too much okay it's just too much and so i purchased these nails now i will say they are a little longer than i normally go on my nails i'll show them to you guys they are a little longer and here on youtube than i usually go on my nails i'm typically a short to medium nail length type of girl but i like these i must say i really do <laughs> hey sonia and so i ordered these from glossy and i ordered three sets they come with all the things you'll need basically to prep your nails so these little alcohol prep pads some of these little emery boards and then a cuticle pusher and which when i usually i've bought press-ons from the store before and i just throw these little things away the little tabs that you use to stick them on but i said this time let me try it and see these babies have not moved all day okay so i got this set which is black and white I got this set, which is a blush pink. Let's see if y'all can see that. And then I got these, which are Fire Engine Red over here on YouTube. And baby, these red ones are gonna get some use. So they're actually acrylic nails. They're done. You can hear them. They're actually nail nails and they're very sturdy. So I'm not a big, like, I'll do press-ons in a pinch, 
But I was like, okay, these are by a real nail artist who is actually doing the nails. So let me try them out. And I love them. What I'm noticing right now is that a lot of nail artists are going the press on route. So you can probably reach out to your favorite nail artist and ask for some custom press ons right now. I know I did it because I, I the long nails are cool, but I got I have children and that whole piece. So I reached out to my local, one of my local black owned nail ladies and asked for some short ones and she's making me some short ones. So that's the nails. They're by Glossy Nails and I love them so far. They're very sturdy. They're very high quality. She will do them if you know your nail sizes, if you know the size of the tips that you usually get on each nail, she will do them in your size. So that's really good. All right, now let's get into the beauty stuff. So the first thing that I'll share is a skincare piece. If you have oily skin, I must preface this by saying this probably is not going to be the item that you run to, but I don't have oily skin. It's becoming oily, I think, because you know, two become one in marriage and my husband has oily, oily skin. And somehow my skin is now becoming oily as well. But that's neither here nor there. What I um, love, before we even talk about makeup, we got to talk about taking care of your skin under the makeup. This makeup remover by my client, and not just because she's my client, this is a really good product, Herpothecary. It is a coconut mango oil-based makeup remover. And so this is what it looks like okay as y'all can see i use it a lot and that is it and it literally melts the makeup off of my face immediately i love it for that reason she also has this facial scrub it's a whipped facial scrub and i'll show y'all what it looks like super luxurious okay super obviously my fingers have been all in there <laughs> but super luxurious and it does have fragrance i know some people are like anti-fragrance in your facial care products i don't have as sensitive skin as i used to have so it doesn't really bother me and it's not really that much fragrance to where it's like overwhelming and her fragrances are phthalate free. I know it was free of something, but here you go, YouTube. So this is the makeup remover by Herpothecary, the coconut mango makeup remover. And this is her Think Pink Whipped Facial Scrub. Also very, very good. All right, so now, and I'm on two platforms right now, YouTube, so excuse me now we can get into mother mother pat and all of her wonderfulness oh my goodness so i have been going pat mcgrath crazy lately um i have been going a, a little pat mcgrath crazy lately because while i love to i love the eyes okay i love to to zhuzh up my eyes I also love really high quality things and Pat just hits all the marks when it comes to quality. Where do you purchase? I purchase from patmcgrath.com for my Pat McGrath products. Um, I know she also sells at Sephora, but I don't usually go through Sephora. And then the Herpothecary products are at herpothecary.com. And then Glossy Nails, shopglossynails.com. Okay. So let's get into these products because prior to um, really diving into Pat's product line, I was a MAC girl. All my, most of my makeup is from MAC um, or was from MAC. And I did have some Juvia's and some Fenty. I also like Fenty's products, but I was like, you know what? 
I need to like compare the difference. I need to know because I like Mac products so much. What is really the difference? So I'll show you one, one difference before we even get started. Okay. Because a Pat McGrath, I believe this retails, her lip glosses retail for like $28. And then MAC, which is where I normally purchase my lip glosses, retail for $16. So I want you to look for all of my folks out there who are like, well, is there really a difference? Look at this versus this huge size difference okay even in the width the huge difference you're getting way more product way more product with this product than with this one and for me taking care of your beauty being a steward of your beauty is what we've been called to do as feminine women. God didn't just give you your beauty for nothing. So you want to make sure that you're doing the best by yourself. And for us as women of color, listen, Pat is mother. Pat has been in the game forever setting the bar of excellence. It's not even, you know, you're not even compromising by purchasing Pat McGrath products. So I will show you guys the products that I most recently purchased and you can fall in love just like I fell in love. Hey Ro, it's so good to see you tonight. So I'm doing something fun, something that has been requested and requested and that is a black owned beauty haul. So we're about to get into these palettes okay and these lip colors i have not purchased yet a face product from pat and that's more so because i don't i'm not i don't like purchasing concealers and foundations online because my my complexion is really golden not bragging or anything, but it just is. And I always buy the wrong color. <laughs> I always buy the wrong shade when I buy online. So I will have to go into a Sephora, get matched, and then try her foundation. So know that you can go to the different, you know, makeup outlets and get matched and then buy online. When I go to MAC, I, I just go to the store. I don't try to buy online. And then once I know my, my shade, then I'll buy online. So I just recently repurchased a concealer from MAC and I bought that online. I was able to buy that online. Let me, I know I'm all in y'all face over here on YouTube. <laughs> but that's because I'm also on Instagram. So thank y'all for bearing with me. So just checking for any comments. All right. So we're going to get into the lip colors first because the palettes are just another world in and of themselves. So I purchased her Divine Rose Lip Kit, which came with these three items. So do we not love? Do we not love this packaging? I mean, how can you not love? First of all, black and gold, who that saints girl, okay? But do, do you see the lips? The, I, I just love the lips. So it came with this soft core lipstick and then the Divine Rose Lip Gloss, which like I said, you're getting so much product. Uh-oh, I just dropped something. You're getting so much product in this as compared to what you normally get in a lip gloss. And I just love her branding, y'all. Her branding and packaging is everything. This is like so cute to me. It's just so cute. So let me swatch this lip color for you guys. This is soft core. This is actually what I'm wearing right now. Okay. 
Do y'all see that pink? Beautiful, beautiful. Nudie pink. That's just not too much. I'm not a fan of like the chalky nude that you can't really wear. I love this. I love it. And when I first put it on, when I got it, I didn't love it. But I put it on with the liner and I absolutely love it. And I will show you the liner that comes with it which is what I've lined the bottom center and up top, not in the center, but just under my lip width. So this is the liner. This is the liner here. And then this is the lip color. I love it. And I'm actually giving away a liner in this color in my community, Suburbia. That's the name of it. So Softcore, Suburbia, and then the Divine Rose was the lip kit that I purchased. Then I think I found my new favorite nude lip. Yes, I love this one, but this next one I'm about to show y'all blew me away. And I don't, it's so interesting because you see so many bloggers and vloggers talking about Pat McGrath but there are just certain hidden gem colors that you don't hear people talking about. This is one of them because I have not seen anyone talk about it. It's called Beautiful Stranger. Also another pinky nude. I love my pinky nudes. So, so far my favorite nudes have been Velvet Teddy, um, Velvet Teddy, Myrrh, and Whirl. From Mac so you can kind of see that trend here so here is beautiful stranger and it's just a hair well not even a hair it's darker it's darker than the soft core but this is a really good everyday nude lip color for brown skin girls do y'all see that throw a gloss on over it, you are good to go. Now, I also think that I found my, I'm not gonna call it my favorite, but one of my new favorite liners. This is Manhattan, which is the color that I have on the outer corners of my lip. Y'all, I have Night Moth and Vino by MAC. And I, I like them. I like, I really like Night Moth. Vino, the girl in the store sold it to me and I thought it was this. I didn't even know about this at the time, but this is the color I thought I was getting. Let me show y'all. Look at that beautiful deep red. Do you see that? This is it here amazing i love it so much it's like a brown brick almost like a brick red that i can wear every day because i'm generally in brown liners and a nude lip there it is again so this is manhattan this is suburbia those two are liners this is softcore and this is beautiful stranger let me see if you guys are commenting, cause I, um, I can't see. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we're gonna get into the deeper shades that I purchased in her lipsticks, which one I love and one I want to love, but I'm just not there yet. And you may actually love it, but I'm just, I don't, I, I saw it online and I was like, I think I'm going to really, really love that. And then I bought it and oh, I just, mm, I just don't know why it's not doing it for me. So it's this one and it's called Executive Realness. Let me show you the shade. And theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, I love this color. In the tube, I love this color. On the website, I love this color. I, I love everything about it. On my face, I just can't. 
love it. I don't know why. I'm going to keep trying, though. I will keep trying. Okay, so I'm going to swatch it for you guys so y'all can see for yourselves. This is it here, Executive Realness. There it is at the bottom. Is that not a gorgeous plum e berry color? It is such a pretty berry pink. Let me show it to y'all up close. Such a pretty berry pink. I don't know why I can't like it. I, I just don't know. I don't know why it doesn't look as good on my face as it looks on my hand. It's not, I know Storm, it's not that bad, but on my face, it just makes me look like an old lady. <laughs> I can't. Maybe I need to try a liner with it, which I did not do, but it literally makes me look like an old lady. Someone said that would make a pretty blush. It probably, it, you know what? I don't know whose grandma is from the old school, but my grandma is definitely the one who, who does a little rouge on her cheeks <laughs> and she's old school that way so I, I might try it i don't know i don't know however i want to really love that color so i'm gonna keep trying it i'm gonna try it with the manhattan liner that might make a difference um or maybe maybe i will try it with night moth i think this color with that deep darkness of night moth will really do well so this last one i do love this one is a big girl color okay i love a good red and this is a big girl red this is a grown woman red all right this is called vendetta let me show it to you this is called vendetta over here on youtube and let me swatch it for you. I'm going to wipe some of these. I'll just do it so y'all can see all of them together. That is Vendetta. Vendetta. Gorgeous red. Gorgeous red. I'm a Ruby Woo girl myself. But guess what? This red is like... Ruby Woo's older sister. <laughs> it's like Ruby Woo's older sister. Seriously. So these are the lip colors that I purchased. This is the Manhattan liner. This is the Suburbia liner. And yes, I bought it in a lip kit, but you can buy them all separately. You have uh, Vendetta in your collection. The next one that I want to purchase is Elson because I really want to see how that looks. Um, especially on my skin. I heard it's like the perfect red for all skin tones. So I have, what did I say? Manhattan. <laughs> I have Suburbia Soft Core, which is a matte. So all of the formulas that I purchased are matte, but Soft Core really gives me satin. Her mattes give me real satiny. And I'm not a satin lipstick fan, but I don't hate it, okay? I don't hate her formula. I love her formula, actually, because they're very moisturizing set, uh, matte lipsticks. However, they are not matte matte. They're like satin matte, okay? So Softcore, Beautiful Stranger, which I love for nude. It is a little dark, which is why I did the Softcore today, but as you can see they're pretty pretty close but not really and then here is the beautiful executive realness that's what it's called executive realness i just love the color but i i don't i'm gonna try it out with some different things and then vendetta vendetta and v for vendetta is one of my favorite movies so <laughs> so i had to get it because i love the name Okay, so I'm going to wipe off my hand so that I can move on to the palettes, which her palettes are just killing the game right now. My daughter, y'all, my, my baby girl, she's two. She 
swatch herself today. It was quite hilarious. All right. So I got these two mothership palettes and I'm going to show you one at a time because A, because who did not buy the, Div the Divine Rose 2 palette? Like literally. I'm sure someone didn't, but why? Why wouldn't you? So this is the Divine Rose 2. Excuse any mess because I have actually been using it. As you can see, my finger's been all in it. And I love her eye products because they are so finger friendly. It gives you this intimacy with your face and your makeup routine that you sometimes can't get. Her eye products are so buttery. <laughs> they are so buttery that you can literally apply and blend them with your fingertips. Okay. Uh, I'm someone, I'm new to all this. Oh, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> not everyone didn't buy it, especially if you're not a makeup lover, but this palette, the marketing campaign around this palette, the whole, uh, around the whole collection. So the lip kit that I purchased was, the, was a part of the collection as well the whole thing was just beautiful i love 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 this gold plate that she puts on the back of her the mothership palette specifically it just takes it up a notch i love luxury things i really do i love custom things i love beautiful things and she just hits all of the marks on this one the packaging, literally, do you hear how heavy this is? Liter literally. My husband was like, oh, who? you could knock somebody out with that. I sure could, but I won't. But these colors, y'all, the colors, do you see this color right here? Keep your eyes on this one. Keep your eyes on it. Do you see how it's changing colors? Yes, it does that on your face. Yes, it is a tri-chrome eyeshadow. She also has some duochrome. So in this palette, there's a duochrome, which it turns two different colors. I, I just, Storm, are you, are you, are you catching this? Do you, I mean, it's just... So, this is the Divine Rose 2. And I really, really, really love this palette. I'll swatch the colors for you guys so you can see what they look like on brown skin. I'm like a medium, medium tone brown skin, but regular brown. So, this first one, the only thing about Pat that people complain about, but I don't really have a problem with, is that she does not... Put the names of the shadows on the palette but she does send these cards with the names on them so this one is skin show opal skin show rose opal let me get it right and look at that i don't know if y'all can see it oh yeah let me pull my arm back a little bit do you see that beautiful pinky opal color? I have to give y'all my whole arm because I'm short. All my limbs are short. And, and listen, y'all know how it is being short girls. So someone asked, am I wearing any of these colors? I am wearing, I have a tiny bit of this rose seduction tiny tiny bit of the rose seduction in the middle tiny bit because if i had gone any further it would literally be this color her colors are extremely pigmented and then i'm also wearing a few from this palette which is the bronze seduction palette but i'll share that when i get to it okay so that is skin show rose opal the next 
here is Naked Blush, which Naked Blush is this peachy pink color here. And it actually does work really well as a blush. Y'all, I wish you could feel, I wish I could let you feel through the camera how soft and buttery these pigments are. So let me show you Naked Blush. Do you see that? Do you see how pretty this pink is? And you can see how pigmented it is because literally right there. Okay, the next one is Eleganza. Eleganza. The opals are great. I think that the opals are the only ones that really don't work for every skin tone because they can be a little ashy a little ashy depending on your brownness just a bit okay this one is eleganza it's like a purple metallic right here and depending on the angle it looks lighter than it is so pat is a world-renowned makeup artist and she works with lots of different skin tones so i won't say that all of her colors are brown girl friendly this is eleganza gorgeous gorgeous metallic oh my goodness y'all i need to use this more often because it's beautiful just beautiful do you see that and it's so it looks coppery a little bit but also very purple and regal now i'm going to dip into bronze rose 005 which these are her transformers when you purchase a pat palette these are the eyeshadow pigments and these are used to transform the colors so you can layer these on top of these and it will change the look all right so this is bronze rose yes bronze rose and it's giving me rose gold vibes i love rose gold okay do you oh that copper oh that copper yes y'all gorgeous let me see i feel like on insta y'all might not be getting this goodness because the youtube camera is a little closer so beautiful now we're gonna dip into this gold that just gets me every time her golds are undefeated y'all pat mcgrath's golds are undefeated so this gold is gold lust 001 and this gold is literally a yellow yellow gold if you have been looking for a yellow yellow gold eyeshadow this is your yellow yellow gold for all my girls who love metallics look at that gold look at that gold just gorgeous just gorgeous alarm is going off he runs me a bath every night and he literally has an alarm set so that he runs it on time every night his idea not mine <laughs> okay but i will say it's his idea because he saw me doing it for so long and was like you know what i want to do that i want to i want to do that for you same with the makeup which is so interesting I ordered last week and I'll probably do I'll probably do a just luxury beauty haul in general because I ordered these uh, Carolina Herrera lipsticks and 
he was like what is up with the lipsticks like why are you because i was like at the door waiting for these lipsticks every day whenever the ups man came i was like do you have my lipsticks but then they got here and he saw them and was like okay i get it now they're like customizable beautiful beautiful packaging just the whole nine he was like okay i understand now all right so we're gonna go into the bottom row of this gorgeous divine rose two palette the bottom row is a little bit darker but they're still very lovely and i have found myself using these shades more on the outer corner and the middle of my lid um more so than anywhere else i'm not really a whole smoky smoky eye girl I've, i'm just not not there yet not there yet at all if someone else is doing my makeup i have no problem with it but no i'm not about to have myself out here looking crazy okay all right so let's get into the darker colors the first is extreme burgundy this dark purple here or dark burgundy here extreme burgundy very beautiful gorgeous gorgeous burgundy color okay and it just it's like paint it's so buttery do yourself a favor if you have not purchased a pat mcgrath palette go to her website buy a palette you will not regret it okay and some people will say oh well what's the difference you know i have some well had some drugstore palettes it ain't the same i've had some mid-range palettes it ain't the same it, it's just not it, you know it's 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 really not as far as quality as far as texture blendability it's just not the same um not to say that it's better or worse so i'm not telling you break the bank <clears throat> or anything like that if you don't have it to be buying high-end cosmetics don't do it but if you do do yourself a favor and buy the best product also a lot of times it's better for your skin so it sits lighter on your skin it cleans easier off of your skin just saying just saying ladies the next one that we're going into is this gorgeous gorgeous coppery purple down here which is divine dusk divine dusk the names y'all just the names all right here we go here we go does that not does that not just make you love it look at how pretty and these two together are just oh uh, it's sickening oh my goodness oh goodness it's gorgeous huh now i want to take all my makeup off and redo my face because this is just beautiful so that was divine dusk rose seduction is one that y'all have seen me wear several times since i've purchased this palette because i love me a good hot pink okay rose seduction is this deep gorgeous pink and i think this these two colors here are the reason a lot of people bought this palette oh i'm just being honest the others were a bonus, but these two colors are just everything. Look at that. Look at how bright this pink is. And that is just summer. Summer, I won't say a hot girl summer because it ain't, but that's just summer hello summer hello y'all are gonna see me when i walk up when i bust up out of quarantine with this pink on my lids okay if they ever let us out. well i won't even say if they ever let us out because i think everybody has let their people out of quarantine if folks ever get it together so we can get out of here in a healthy way 
All right. So let's get into, because I know this is the one y'all are waiting for, this VR Sextraterrestrial is what it is called. So Mother Pat, I don't know. I have not researched her personal life to find out if she's married or not. But she just might be living vicariously through these names is what I'll say. Okay, let me just let you see it on my finger. Do you see that? It just, it just, it just it just transforms in front of your eyes is what it does okay give me magic sauce do you Ooh. oh girl oh my goodness girl look do you see it is a transformer on your arms on your skin i would literally the old me i'll say it's it's the magic sauce i'm telling you the old me would want to paint my whole self <laughs> in this color <laughs> my whole self because it is just like who even does that who even does that it goes green and then it goes purple and then it goes pink i can't even yes this is pat mcgrath this is the divine rose 2 palette and the color is vr sextra terrestrial it really is storm says it's just too gorgeous it really i mean i could just play in this all day i was that little girl i played in makeup all day long i used to walk around looking crazy with the blue eyeshadow they used to say girl you look like the lady from drew carey y'all remember the lady from drew carey oh my goodness with the with the crazy blue that was me okay and then the last one in the palette is astral pink moon which i also have not dipped into simply because it just gives me chalky vibes but what I have done with it is lighten my inner corners. So I have used it for those purposes. I just don't know yet. I just don't know yet. So this is it on the finger. That's it. I, I know y'all are getting a lot of light over here on IG. And I will show you it's on the skin. Hmm. <laughs> do you see it is very pretty on the skin very very pretty it does not look as chalky as it looks in the palette and it actually champagne that's what it is it is a beautiful champagne gorgeous champagne excuse my elbow all in the camera gorgeous champagne color so it's not terrible when you actually take it out of the palette okay so that is divine rose 2 which i've i've just grown to love over the last what if i had it i think i've had it for like three weeks now two or three weeks i bought it the day it came out um so there's that it's been out about two and a half Two and a half weeks and i've been loving it i also on a whim because i was not going in target purchased these uh makeup cleansing wipes from ulta and i actually really really like them i like them better than the neutrogena wipes that i normally buy because they have vitamin e and they're super moisturizing hold on i missed you guys' comments over here on youtube the last three colors are the world they are the world that is these three here and they are everything and just the whole all of it let me make sure you guys over here on insta are getting what you need so this is the bronze seduction this is the mothership five 
you can probably find 7,000 swatch videos on Insta, I mean on uh, YouTube, but I'm going to swatch it anyways since y'all are here. This is the Mothership 5. And I'm at, so I will say this may be the last of the ones that she has right now, Mothership palette that I'll purchase because um, I'm not one to be wearing crazy colors on my face. <laughs> and I'll probably, in the words of my good friend Evelyn, I'll probably never wear a blue eyeshadow again. And so some of her palettes are very cool toned. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just warm. I'm warm, obviously. So let's get into this one. I left my box, I believe because her packaging is just a whole nother animal. So if y'all have not seen her actual, you know what, hold please. I'm back so that y'all can see her actual packaging. Okay, so what do these come in so this is the box that the divine rose 2 came in i'm telling you pat has luxury down pat literally so right now we're talking about pat mcgrath has luxury down pat so it opens y'all know if you know me you know i love the drama it opens here's the, here's the palette and just come on now come on now just give me everything that i need in an unboxing experience okay so that's that and then here is the package for the rose seduction i mean the the bronze seduction just give me just give it all to me just you know make my unboxing experience beautiful and her lipsticks same thing same well same idea so it comes in this package and it has beautiful pictures on it and then you open your box and then there's another little box inside and your lipstick is in there like that just waiting to give you a kiss it's everything it's everything okay so here is the card for the bronze seduction and i'm gonna try to speed through this one y'all here are the colors as you can see i'm a nude girl i love i love browns i love nudes i love it all and we're gonna start with skin show divine glow so the other one started with skin show rose opal obviously obviously she loves giving us a skin show all right, so here's the Skin Show Divine Glow. Another champagne that I will probably, probably, let me make sure y'all getting it on Insta, probably only use this one for my inner corners. Because while it does have some gold tone to it, it's just a little too light for me to put all over my eyes much like the other so her first her color stories in her palettes um seem to follow a similar pattern so her first color is is like light 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 all right this next one which i absolutely love is entrapment y'all the butteriness is just i can't get over it i'll probably be talking about how buttery these are for like a year okay this is entrapment which is a beautiful brown that's almost it's very close to my skin tone actually especially like here but that is entrapment and that is another that is like an everyday so i've been wearing this one really often because i like browns 
this next one, y'all. Just get into just get into the metallicness of it already before it even comes out of the pan. The beauty. And it is bronze blaze. That's a perfect name for it because it's bronze on fire. That's it on the finger. I already feel like I'm about to be dipped in bronze just looking at it. And that is it oh bronze on fire on fire that is what i have right here my main lid color tonight is bronze blaze okay my corner the outer corner is disobedient which is this darker brown here we'll get to that in a second the next one is rose gold 005 so on the divine rose palette it was bronze rose 005 so they are slightly different and sometimes folks think that she's repeating colors and she's really not you can see okay let me try to hold them both here is bronze rose let me see and here is rose gold you can see that one is way redder and one is way golder so the one that is on the bronze seduction palette is much redder than the divine rose palette so that is it way more red it's it's like a new penny literally okay and you can see the redness of it here I'm trying to make sure that the light hits it just right all right and then the last one on the top row is VR fire opal which is a duo chrome two colors and you can see here how it shifts how the color I don't know if y'all are really getting it on insta how the color shifts there and it's a lighter shift than the sextra terrestrial much lighter so sextra terrestrial is is more like a dark green purple hot pinky shift this one is more of a mermaid shift I'm getting mermaid vibes from this. I'm totally getting mermaid vibes from this. If you guys remember, what was the little book with the little fish with the, the, the scales that we used to read as kids? That's what I'm getting from this. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. You just purchased this one. Did you purchase the the um bronze seduction palette or the divine rose too who is that modest modesty above rubies blue fin yeah that book it's gorgeous it really is so i'm gonna wipe this swatch so that i can go to the next row these colors i mean it i just want to be painted this these three colors for the rest of my life <laughs> like king midas <laughs> y'all and look at how easily hold on let me get a, a fresh wipe so y'all can see how easily they just clean right off of your skin i do not like pigments that stain my skin so that's really big for me 
even the glitter the shimmer it just wipes right off i don't like lip products that stain my skin i don't like eye products that stain my skin one of the things that i use pretty religiously is the mac prep and prime for my lipstick so that it just sits right on top of that instead of on my lips all right so let's get into this next row the first is extreme aubergine which is very similar to the extreme burgundy but less red more purple and much darker okay as you can see it's it's almost blue black it's dark and i love a good deep deep purple for my outer corners and if i ever get to the point where i can do a full smoke myself i'll probably use that <laughs> but that is the extreme aubergine okay the next one is guilty pleasure yeah, it is. It's really dark. It's dark, Storm. The next one is Guilty Pleasure. And when I think of guilt, I think of like gold. So it's guilt like G-I-L-T. I think of gold, but this isn't really gold. This is more of a, a shimmery gunpowder. But it goes on like a nude charcoal sparkle do you see that gorgeous beautiful color when you want to give them just a little glam just a little glam but not too much it's like a tuesday and you're feeling a little extra there you go boom bam pow there you go that's me all day it's tuesday and i'm feeling like giving giving the people a little bit more of what they want yes it's very very beautiful on brown skin it it just is it just makes you look like you shimmer <laughs> not necessarily like you're wearing an eye color but you you just sparkle girl okay so the next one is disobedient which is the color that i'm wearing on the outer corner of my eyes right now so you can see how it goes on it's much darker than it looks in the palette as you can see that's that's it on the finger and that's it on the skin so you can have that darker outer corner without going full smoke for your typical Tuesday like girl where are you going it's tuesday all right and so y'all about to pop off over there so i'm gonna have to pop back on and let's go into this red because that's probably what y'all have been waiting for blitz fire blitz fire literal red when do you ever see a red that feels like butter and goes on to brown skin so beautifully. Look at that. Like who even does that? Pat does it, that's who. Yeah, exactly, here we go. It, it, it listen, that red, huh? You rock that one of these date nights one of these good date nights gather him all the way up gather him gather him okay and then the last one is astral luna gold this one here looks a little white so let's 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 give it a gander y'all i will say just me rubbing my finger around on it has gotten so much of this astral lunar gold but it's so pretty but it's so pretty look look at that instagram look at that 
I mean, this woman. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. It just also gives me mermaid vibes. Also gives me mermaid vibes. Let me... Put this up on IGTV so y'all can always go back and watch. Okay. Excuse my face over here on YouTube. Just want to make sure the people get what they need. I do not want to post a preview Instagram. Thank you very much for being so thorough. They so, they're so thorough, but they refuse to give us more than 60 minutes on these lives. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. So let's pop right back on live over here on IG. And finish off with this beautiful... Excuse my husband, y'all. He's he's a little extra with this um, with this reminder he has set on his phone. All right, last palette, last palette, because I know y'all gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed. My kids gotta go to bed. There, they should be in the bed by now. But last palette which is the Golden Opulence Palette. And again, so if you're not purchasing the Mothership Palettes, the packaging is different. I'm, I'm, I, I have not decided how I feel about this yet um, because I don't like cardboard palettes. They get really dirty. Hers is... It's, I'm sure it's cardboard on the inside, but it's covered in this nice cardstock, I would say. It's like paper, but it's shimmery. And then, of course, she has her embossed Pat McGrath logo here. Same as, well, I do like this a little bit better than the, um, the string on the other ones but it follows the same order so this is the palette the difference is your card with your names is a clear card in these palettes so you can just sit it on top and it can always be there these other cards that come with the Mothership palettes do not fit inside of the palette. So you can either keep the box or just keep this close to the palette or maybe tape it to the back or something. I don't know, but I like the gold backing so I won't be taping it to the back. I have another box that I keep my boxes and packaging and stuff in. Um, and if, only if it's nice packaging. So I don't keep all of my packaging. Here, I'm not going to talk about these tonight, but this is one of the customizations for the Carolina Herrera lipsticks. Those of you who know me know that orange is my favorite color, and I love little extra stuff like tassels. Give me a lipstick with a tassel on it any day of the week. All right, so we're going to get into this Golden Opulence Palette. Because it's just, it really is gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. And again, you may think that, which was it? It was the rose gold, was it? No, 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 no. It was the gold lust here is the same. Hello, Evelyn is the same as the 
gold fortune in the golden opulence, but it is not. It's not the same. So I'll swatch them next to each other so y'all can see the difference. But we're going to start with eternal opulence. Can we say eternal opulence? You know what I love about these as well is it's like putting affirmations on your face. Give me eternal opulence. Yes. Give me eternal opulence. So we're just going to go into this one, okay? Just a little, a little opulence for your Monday night. This is why I did it on a Monday. I said, you know what? It's a nice way to start the week. Eternal opulence. Listen, again, this is going to be on my inner corner. Because your girl is not about to be walking around looking like 1995 with white all over my lid. But I do love it because it gives me a little blushy pink. Just a little bit of blushy. But also like a champagne. Like a nice champagne. Not too gold, not too crazy. The next one is Tranquility tranquility y'all know me by now even if you just met me today you know i love myself a good nudie brown so this one has been dug all into in the last couple days since i added i will say and some folks are gonna gonna you know pat faithfuls are gonna feel some kind of way i am becoming a pat faithful the formula on these smaller palettes, not the same, not the same. I still love her, but it's not the same. Okay, so this is Tranquility, and it is literally the color of my skin. And I love it still. I'd buy it 10 times. <laughs> It is literally my skin tone. You can't even see it. But I'd still keep buying it because I, I love a nude eyeshadow. And I love a nude lip. I just do. I do. That's what I heard about the smaller palettes, but I heard the quads are great. I have not bought a quad yet. Um, I don't see any that I absolutely love. But this here... The shimmers are similar in formula, but not quite. And the mattes are not the same formula. Um, this one is Lotus Luxe. So this here, beautiful pink shimmer in the corner. Lotus Luxe. Very similar to the what was it bronze blaze no blitz flame but not as red more pink i like it i like it a lot more pink but not as hot pink as the which one was it as the rose seduction it's not as hot pink as the rose seduction it's if rose seduction and blitz flame had a baby that would be the baby. Yep. And I like it. I like it a lot. The next is prosperity. Give me prosperity on my face, honey child. Give me prosperity on my face. It is. It's beautiful. I love it. So this one is prosperity. It is, to me, if extreme aubergine... No, no, no. Extreme Burgundy and Disobedient had a baby. Very cute. Very cute. Cute for the outer corners. Cute for a date night outer corner. If you're wearing a nice burgundy look. If you're wearing a nice red look. Mm-hmm. You don't want to do too much, but you don't want to do too little. Yep. And then the last one, which I will swatch next to 
the rose gold as well is gold fortune it's a great transition shade it is it is so this one is gold fortune very gold very gold and that is it so a little more antique gold so if you love antique gold i do love antique gold gold fortune is, is a little more antique gold <clears throat> and then gold lust i'm gonna swatch it right next to it is yellow gold this is like <sighs> wrapper gold which i don't mind wrapper gold actually now that i see them next to each other this one is a little more matte shimmer if that if i can if i can say matte shimmer this one is matte is gold glitter looking at them right next to each other trophy wife is a lot trophy wife is is a lot okay <laughs> trophy wife is a lot i i can do trophy wife on the eyes i cannot do trophy wife on my face because it's a lot your girl is not trying to be out here looking like a trophy wife okay looking like a whole trophy so you can see the differences in the colors. I like wrapper, wrapper gold though. I don't mind. I'm not saying that as like shade or anything. I personally love a good wrapper. I also like their gold. And my husband has been like, I think I want to, I think I want to try some gold. I think I want, cause he doesn't wear jewelry like at all and now he wants to wear gold so we'll see how this goes i think he's he's evolving into his next level women set the tone i'm telling you women set the tone the feminine sets the tone because now that the tone is being reset now he's into a whole new things he's just layers are peeling back so i'll take y'all on that journey as well but those are my latest beauty purchases so i got two mothership palettes and then one of her six pan palettes which i like um i can't say i'm madly in love with but i do like it and i am in love with the mothership palette so an honorable mention, I have to share this because it's it's just, if I think about Black-owned beauty brands that I use every single day, Fenty is definitely one. And I can't say that I love all of her products, but these two here are like holy grail for me. So this is her lip scrub, and it is like a it's the lip loving scrub stick pro kisser okay hope y'all kids are asleep but it's the lip loving scrub stick and it has the apricot holes in it so i put this on before bed and just like mm, 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 and scrub wipe it off and then i follow up with her luscious lip balm y'all and i wear this overnight beautiful beautiful i'm excited to try the remedy lip mask from beneath your mask that's on its way i may do a, a black owned skincare haul because i have a ton of stuff on the way but these two products right here the lipstick i mean the scrub stick and then the luscious lip balm together just make a beautiful pair if you just want nice soft supple kissable lips these two right here my husband loves them 
So that's it for me, y'all. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this, if you want to see more of me doing my thing, sharing my purchases, then let me know because I wouldn't mind doing them. This has been super fun. I think though, the next time I only do one platform because I don't like not looking at one of the cameras. It's, it's just weird to me. I would feel left out if I were the, the person not being looked at. <laughs> so with that, if you're on Insta, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find it at the link in my bio. If you are on YouTube, subscribe to me on Instagram. I am Feminine Success on all platforms. And I will see y'all soon. Peace.